Hey baddies, in today's gym, I'll be discussing how replaying outdated beliefs and reliving past traumas can block your manifestations. First, I'll give an example. For years, I allowed things I was taught and experienced as a child to taint my perception of love, intimacy, and stability. On one hand, I felt I was readily open and available to entering new connections. But on the other hand, I most definitely was not ready. I was so ready to pour all of my love into someone else. And this is actually one of the worst ways you can enter a relationship. You should never pour all of anything into anyone else. What will you have left for yourself? Yes, this may seem selfish initially, but this is only because society has taught us that it's okay to run ourselves into the ground in order to appease others. To make matters worse, this very lie is then reinforced within our childhood homes and significant relationships. An example of this will be your mother and father teaching you at a very young age, it's okay for you to do for others before you do for yourself. Hence teaching you that your needs are not as important. This could not be further from the truth. As I stated previously, if you give everything you have to everyone else, what will you have left for yourself? Absolutely nothing. And this is a very toxic way of thinking or believing. Before we continue, I'd like you to ask yourself a very specific question. How and what do you plan to pour from an empty cup? Leftovers? Let that marinate for a second. Okay, back to the subject at hand. By the time I truly understood their meanings, my perception of love, intimacy, and stability were tarnished due to years of trauma. I grew up in a family where both parents worked hard to put food on the table and we were doing quite well for ourselves, but this also came at a cost. When both parents are busy providing for their family, things tend to slip through the cracks. This is fairly common and no one is perfect, so this is not a blame game. It's only to make us more aware. Additionally, when trauma is passed down in the form of love, this becomes a child's perception of love, whether it's a toxic form of love or not. When trauma is passed down in the form of lack, this affects a child's perception when it concerns their finances, their stability. When trauma is passed down in the form of rejection concerning intimacy, this taints a child's perception of what to expect in intimate relationships. It also teaches them that being abandoned in the connection is normal behavior. Hell to the no. Any trauma stemming from these categories will significantly affect everything you do. From the job you choose to stabilize your finances, which is based on your belief of what you're capable of achieving, to the relationships you choose, which is based on what you believe you deserve. And lastly, to the friendships you choose, which is simply based on how you perceive yourself. If you consistently find yourself with partners who do not treat you equally or give you the bare minimum, you subconsciously believe you do not deserve better. If you're accepting positions that stress you the hell out and you often find yourself unhappy with their career choices, this is a direct reflection of what you believe you're capable of achieving. If your relationships lack intimacy, within you lies a blockage you must be mindfully aware of because you are attracting partners with similar blockages. Everything I've just mentioned will always lead back to your perception of you due to your experiences. Needless to say, if you've experienced childhood trauma or trauma in relationships with friends or romantic partners and you're noticing how unhappy you are, It's time to look deeper. It's also time for you to do the work. That is if you expect change. 
For instance, in the past, I just knew I was ready to start a relationship. However, there was so much trauma stemming from lacking intimacy in previous marriages and my childhood home. That's consciously my mind was saying, let's do this. I'm ready. I'm ready. Subconsciously, my ego was screaming, oh, hell no. We're not doing this again. If you do not teach your ego you're ready and capable of a new beginning, it will ruin your life. I'd forgotten to the point where I was literally convincing myself I was ready to be happy and my ego was pushing me to sabotage connections due to fear. I was fearing repeating cycles. Firstly, you must always remember that your happiness comes from within. So let's start there. No one can make you happy They can only add to the happiness you currently exude. If you are unhappy with yourself, incorporating someone else into your energy is like asking them to carry your baggage. You and I both know that's not fair because it's not their burden to bear. It's yours. Healthy relationships require both parties to clean up their mess prior to coming together, whole within themselves. And even if there are still lingering wounds when you enter a relationship, they are still your responsibility to heal with the support of your partner. Some of you are probably scrunching up your nose right now. And that's unfortunate because this also means your ego doesn't want you to believe you've experienced the same, if not similar situations. Running away from the truth or your wounds won't make them go away but it will blind you to the negative things and people you are manifesting by not doing the work. If you find yourself being triggered when working towards a specific goal and consistently not attaining it, know there is a blockage. Being aware of this isn't a bad thing, but it will require you to dissect the origin of the problem. By understanding where your fears and beliefs stem from, you can then redirect your thoughts and teach your ego to be your servant instead of your guide. You have everything within you that you need. Your ego is only replaying a sad story that you're allowing to repeat in your head. Take your power back and listen to your intuition. Allow your intuition to be your guide. Teach your ego you are safe to love so it can support your future decisions and not sabotage your success. You deserve peace and you deserve an abundant life. I hope you all enjoyed today's gym. If you're interested in joining my Queen Evolve mentorship program or my Liberate the Queen program, I'll be sure to leave the links in the comment section. I love you all and I send you love and light. Bye.